Thank you to all who have been supporting the channel by checking out our merch at rejectnationshop.com and becoming royal rejects. Citizens of the Reject Nation, got something really important to tell you all in case you didn't catch the memo. Real Rejects is going to be at WonderCon, WonderCon. again. WonderCon! We're going to have a glious time nerding out with all you. And guess who's joining us on the panel? Who? MJ Tesla No over way! Here. I'm going to WonderCon? He's going to be at WonderCon oh up there God. with John and Coy and myself. Wow. Star Wars Sage. Maybe people ask Walking Dead questions as well. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm really excited for it. We had a fantastic turnout last year. I was in the audience last time, so this is really exciting. He looked for up me. at me and he said, One day I want to be up there. This is a true story. I told my family, Greg, that I was on the panel last year because I was embarrassed that I wasn't. And this year, I told them I'm on the panel, and they were like, who cares? You are on it last year. <laughs> and, and the moral of the story is don't lie to your family. With that in mind, <laughs> leave a like on this video, people. Subscribe and click that bell. We get notified when our reactions up for the next episode of The Bad Batch. Heads up, this is the last one that's going to come out to you this early. But thank you to Prepper for helping us set it down these highlights. Thank you to all of them joining us on our Patreon page. You're coming super sexy rejects over there. You get the full in and watch along where you sync up with your own copy of The Bad Batch. And we cover several things over there exclusively with highlights and watch alongs included. Ready, buddy? Let's do it. I'm always early. Bad, Bad territory. territory. Two words. But three syllables. Yes. Nope. Okay. Five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're fixing the wall. Build that wall. No. Bad Greg. We need to know more about why Hemlock's after you and what his MCAN experiments mean. Ventress. Until then, you have Ventress. to lay low. I don't think Ventures is coming this episode. Well, if that's what they're looking for, but they, they don't gotta know, find they don't, the even, they don't even know what the M count is. Incoming transmission from Fee. Fee. She's a liberator of ancient wonders. <sighs> pirate. <laughs> She's a pirate. Fee. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a plot. Hey man, give it a chance. I'm gonna give it a chance. It's gonna be great this season. What do you got for us? I've been asking around about this M count thing. Text brain was the data bank, not mine. But I came through. Oh, that's right. She was close with tech. Certain class one bounty hunters have been retrieving M count targets for the Empire. Why? What's it mean? Don't know. Better off asking a bounty hunter. Sick. We have run into oh, no. you. What about <laughs> Phoenix? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Fennec Chef. Oh, Fennec. She was hired by the Kaminoans to abduct oh Omega. Oh my god, we are building up all the women. Yeah, I don't like it. We can't trust Fennec. Not around Omega. Agreed. That's right, she hunted Omega in the first season. See if you can convince him to get his hand looked at. Ignoring it won't make the problem go away. That's a metaphor for everything in your life. I refuse to acknowledge that. My life is perfect. <laughs> Deep Space Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do Star Trek reactions? It's not there are too many things out there. <laughs> I love space station life. Club. I feel like I'm playing like Night Sealed Republic 2. There she is. God, she's so young. Yeah. Ming Na Wen looks so old in real life. <laughs> it's not what I meant. She is aged like a fine wine. We're in the middle of something here. Not anymore. This is reflecting Han and Greedo. We'll finish this later. Sit down. I have no business with them. It's not Greedo, is it? It's not, nah. Is that space racist? It's just reflecting, you know? We're here for information. In that case, it's going to cost you. We figured. Get out. I thought we were making a deal. <laughs> it can wait. Are you serious? Not Greedo. Greedo can't speak basic. What kind of information can I help you with? See, the way this works... <laughs> You tell me what intel or target you're after, and I give you a price. So stop wasting my time. I love the lighting reflections here. We hear the Empire has a bounty out for M-count targets. I haven't done one of those jobs myself, but I might know someone who has. Ooh. Now that will definitely cost you. How much? More than you've got. Boba. Makes a lot of sense. Would she know Boba already? That's a good way for them to meet. You're good with demolitions and ordnance, and you're the tracker. What's your point? There's a bounty I've been trying to bring in, worth a lot, but he's been hard to catch without a crew. Do it for me. So you want us to work with you? You'll be working for me. You follow through. I'll get you what you want to know. Is this a one episode or two episode? One. We're not seeing. 
Ventress this episode. No. I keep the payment on the bounty. All of it. You're an interesting bounty hunter. I'll just hire someone to do my bounty hunting for me. Delegating at its finest. Called the gig economy, Greg. She wouldn't know Boba at this time. Boba, when she met, we saw when she met Boba. No, you're Star Wars, man. You're going to WonderCon with us. <laughs> I have exhausted all medical treatment options. Perhaps the issue is not something physical. Oh, boy. You think it's in my head? I know. <laughs> if you were to elaborate more on the experimentation you were subjected to, I could determine the cause. <sighs> Forget it. This is Crosshair's analyze this moment in time. Hear me out. Crosshair goes to Dr. Melfi in the ultimate crossover Ooh. event. We're working for her now. We don't even trust her. You're used to this. We need that information. I appreciate that Wrecker has more consideration than he used to. We made a deal. I'm going to keep it as long as you hold up your end. Want to tell us who it is we're going after? Siler Sarah, the Slayer of Ordo Eris. Oh, no. Well, what did he do? Took out a couple of top bosses for the Haxian Brood and escaped with a cache of credits. Siler knows the planet like the back of his claw, but eventually everyone's luck runs out. He was so good in a bug's life. I think Ming Not Wen's great at the voice work too. Oh yeah. In some ways I feel like her performance sometimes translates better to animation when I already find her to be a very strong actress. Definitely one of the best of our time, honestly. <laughs> Taking the vibes of this gassy planet. So I love that ship. Helmets on, boys. The air here will kill you. Don't go dying on me until the job's done. It's always nice Fourth shadow when there's like a planet that people have to have some kind of gas mask on. I need a boat with speed, and not something that'll capsize like last time. <laughs> I used to see boats. Last time I saw a boat was in The Mandalorian, I think. Yeah. It's like Waterworld vibes with a ickier pollution take on it. <laughs> All right, that's mad cool. Well, she is getting their help. She's there with. I thought she was just sending them on their way, but she's out on oh, the field. That's with them. good. Look at this swamp. It's like Florida. I mean, honestly, yeah. Former resident. Siler's got a safe house upriver somewhere. Find it. You, whatever your name is, cover us. The area we're headed is extremely hostile, so always keep your eyes on the water. More monsters. Really is Florida. Although that's be the big reveal. <laughs> is that Ron DeSantis? <laughs> Cut the engine. There's some type of mine up ahead. How many? Cool. I can't tell from here. Better get in there and check it out. You just said don't go in there. You said you never go in the water. <laughs> and I'm not. You are. <sighs> oh, not a fan. Uh, let's get this over. Weren't their helmets still fill up? Looks like there's such no, an they're airtight. I feel like there's an opening there. No, for the sake of animation, and they're airtight. Oh, that's spooky. Sensors. Our best option is to go around. That's what Siler wants. He won't be expecting us to disarm them. We go this way, and we have the element of surprise. You're gonna disarm all them? You're the explosives expert, right? It should have been a two-parter where they're doing all of them one by one. <laughs> <laughs> That's just one episode per mine for the rest <laughs> of the season. Finish. Not even close. We'll split up. Go left. I'll go right. What could go wrong? This really is a video game mission. Sometimes. <laughs> Gotta get out of your own head, man. That was close. Close doesn't count. It's either a hit or a miss. Don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. Just because there's nothing AZ can do doesn't mean your hand can't get better. Maybe you're the one who has to fix it. Mm, how? Therapy. I have an idea, but you're gonna have to trust me. I'm not gonna like it, am I? You don't like anything. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> How is it that the conversation about going to therapy is more interesting than the diffusing the, the minds? Because they're more interesting characters. Oh, what is it? Florida. More creatures. Uh, little, little alligators. That's cool. Wanna speed it up? <laughs> Interesting direction on the voice work there. Fennec Shan often misses a lot. Perfect shot when it when the story requires her to be. I kind of like that though. 
Whoa! Come on, Wrecker. Let's do it. Murder, split his Gator mouth open. wrangling? This is phenomenal. Oof. Nice. Those alligators don't set off the bombs? They diffuse them. All of them? They also probably swim around them. Oh. Dual wielding. That's why I never go in the water. Scary ass crocs. I feel like they should update the Jungle Cruise attraction at Disney. Ooh. Bad Batch edition? Florida edition. <laughs> Maybe you guys aren't cut out for this job. You think you could do better without us? I wouldn't be doing any worse. <laughs> Even Omega got away from you. Apparently, she <laughs> got away from you, too. She was taken away. It's a difference. Just so you know, I didn't lose Omega. I let her go when the bounty was called off. By who? The client. They thought Omega would be safer with you guys. The client? Guess they were wrong about that. But I guess she'll work for anybody as long as you get paid. Who's the client? Werner Herzog. Money's not everything. And that's because you don't have any. Money does and buy happiness but it sure does put a down payment on it someone came through here they're starboard up ahead it could be a jedi it's one of hers either time this in a mandalorian i mean that also makes sense but the idea that jedi felt that she may be safer with this is interesting i like not knowing things i've been doing it my whole life built the whole channel with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh gregory go check siler's hideout remember i need him alive and what about you? I'm the lookout. So we take all the risk and you get all the reward. Pretty much. Made that really clear up front before you guys ever embarked on this adventure together. Wrecker's not a listener. Yeah, it's definitely not a strong suit. Spookville. I love this. Wow, it's like a little Ewok village. Wookie. I call Wookie. You call Wookie? You're saying Ewok? I said it looked like a little Ewok village. It also looks like a little Wookie village. I think they're walking into the Christmas special right now is what I think is happening. God, could you imagine? That'd be amazing. <laughs> Do you remember when we reacted to that? Yeah, it was the best day of my life. <laughs> it was the greatest thing I've ever done. <laughs> there he is. Oh, sick. Gross. <laughs> Slippery bugger. That's good, Greg. That's good, Greg. God, oh, boy. I hate things. I'm going to kick and punch this guy. Damn, Wrecker, you've been whooping all kinds of ass this episode. There is a strength. God, I hate the clicky noises. The target went underground. Underground? You heard me. Do you think he can whisper? Do you think that's in his ability? <sighs> He's just not mindful enough. Oh, sweet, a boat. <laughs> Smart. You think I'd let you slip away from me again? Fennec <laughs> Shad. <laughs> oh. I would have just shot him first, Fennec. Yeah, well. She doesn't like to go in the water. Fennec can't swim. Oh. Oh. Ew. Buy me dinner first. Come on, Wrecker. Good shot. Oof. Teamwork. You were right to bring us along. Grab him and let's go. <laughs> that was the hardest mission they've ever had to do. But where's the treasure? <laughs> <laughs> the show went downhill after the treasure episode stopped. That's a joke. Oh my what? god, they're doing I mindfulness. Like That's the funniest thing in the world. It's meditation. It'll help you heal. Not just your hand, but your mind too. I doubt that. You do look like the kind of character who would meditate. Where did you learn I this? Say. I picked it up from my friend Gunji. <gasps> the on Kashyyyk. Even better. You've been to Kashyyyk? Uh-huh. That's a Jedi meditation, which is traditional meditation. Close your eyes and focus. I feel like a sniper would know the benefits of breathing exercises, amount of patience you need, deliberation, and focus. Well, I think now oh, that... Look at them. They're like Jedi. It's a beautiful shot. <laughs> Could you imagine? Mm -hmm. Crosshair. <laughs> Crosshair as a Jedi. <laughs> I'm so here for it. 
You promised us information. I didn't say I had it on me, but I'll get it after I deliver Siler to my client. That's not what we agreed on. You can either fight me or trust me. Take your pick. But we want to see them. That's dirty, Fennec. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. I just finished a job with some clones. They were asking about the Empire's M count bounties. What can you tell me? I'm sure you can track them down easily enough. I'll send you what I have. Maybe that's a Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I think that was a Sash. Maybe. <laughs> Oh boy. Citizens of the reject nation, or should I say royal rejects, because that is who we call those who check out our RR apparel at rejectnationshop.com. We come out with new designs every month or every two months. It is personally my favorite way you can support the channel. Reason being is because we are involved with every one of the exclusive RR designs that are up at the shop. We got a bunch of designs already, such as our Super Marvel Bro shirt. My sister actually designed this one. Deadpool Wolverine inspired my personal favorite one but then we also got our, like our number one bestseller the last daddy t-shirt which has Pedro Pascal from the last of us inspired carrying baby Grogu we have Loki's glorious balloon we also have our Doctor Who shirt which is full of a bunch of classic Doctor Who quotes on the TARDIS we have space babies of the galaxy we got ourselves some Star Wars inspired shirts we got a boys inspired shirt and we have a house of the dragon one as well pointing those out because obviously we have new seasons of those shows coming up. And then, of course, you got a bunch of other designs as well, like our Batverse one, Who Influences the Influencers, another Last of Us inspired t shirt, and of course, you know, the classic reject symbolism t shirts as well. Either one is an amazing way to support the channel. And like I said, you get to look good while doing it. So, thank you guys so much. Do consider going to rejectnationshop.com and also. Tag us on social media if you end up buying a shirt. Please tag us. We'd love to see it when people do end up buying the shirts. Thank you, Royal Rejects. See you guys soon. How long do we have to wait? A week? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, we were uh, privileged enough to get access to the first eight episodes early. And uh, it's interesting that they would end here with the i no, normally I they think mathematically that like bodes plan out well. the screeners in a more interesting I, I think that bodes really well the next week would be like the big the return. Big, the not just the big return but i think setting into motion the mandalorian movie the ray skywalker movie yes D, sure all of the above why not mike yeah i think it all that's uh, going to yeah. change everything it's going to blow it all up well you know you say that jokingly greg but Do I, I in my heart of hearts i don't know actually I've done you for years, and I still uh, you got to no find idea. the right wavelength and the tones. So that way, you could sway either way, depending on the outcome of what happens. So you could be like, "I was clearly just joking," or "I wasn't. I just sound sarcastic." <laughs> it's Go funny because I still have no idea where we stand. No, uh, uh, no, I, I think everything bodes well. I mean, this episode, honestly. I would have loved for them to be like, we're going to go off and figure out how to get this information and then not follow that and then spend the entire time with the Omega Cross here. I just, I love that dynamic so much. Likewise. Um, and, you know, it was, it was fun. Always fun seeing a, a returning character from, you know, outside the uh, the Bad Batch. And, for sure. Um, yeah, now I'm, I'm super curious how it all kind of connects. Um, I really would love to see Boba in this time period, though. I mean, we're not supposed to get Boba just yet. I mean, by the time yeah. Fennec, yeah, by the time Fennec sees him, we we know the whole origin of their encounters, their first encounters. Yeah. I do, I do, uh, I would say out of all the episodes thus far with uh, season three, this would be my. I, I liked it still. It would. There's only one that I was like eh, have, number two. Yeah, this, but this would be still above. This still be right behind number two for yeah. me out of out of them all. Yeah, I agree. Like I I. I enjoyed it, and I was able to like have the time pass by. Having Ming Na Wen come back for Fennec Shan is always a welcome, a welcome presence in yeah. my mind. And yeah. I agree with what you said earlier. Like such a wonderful voice talent. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't know. There's this like one of the neat things about Star Wars is being able to explore characters at various stages of their like personal development. Um, and that's one of that's been one of my favorite parts of the Mandalorian has been spending time uh with these characters who we've known their younger versions in Clone Wars 
and to see this kind of intermediary in between uh, yeah. is just super interesting because obviously she's so much more refined and I think wise um, and less of a jerk <laughs> than she is at this chapter of things. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was fun uh, for the most part. I do think, though, that yeah, like an episode like this, while it's kind of cool to get to different locations and then really reflect, reflects like the swamp life, mm. something that I have no familiarity with outside of other mediums that have explored the swamp life for me already, or video games for that matter. Mm. And it is like, yeah, every, everything was like reasonably fine. I still find, you know, Hunter and Wrecker, like while I thought it was good to give an episode of Wrecker where they showed a little bit more of his capability, explosive expert, and... Uh, a ruthless threat when it comes to throwing down some fisticuffs. Yeah, some I was alien say, some Gator, Gator Wrangler is a cool byline in one's resume. Yeah, yeah. it was good. And, uh, but I don't know. It was just kind of like uh, the mission itself wasn't exactly the most yeah. thrilling thing. Yeah. And then the villain that they ended up fighting, I don't know, after like so many episodes of them taking down cr- crazy ass monsters, this just seems so small scale and. A part of me was, I, I didn't, I don't really feel like it justified why Fennec would need Make the batch. Yeah, 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 like this does seem like a mission yeah. Fennec could have handled herself. Yeah. Well, Unless it was just a tie into this whole uh, thing I, in the I, I ending think, scene. I think it was probably more so a test of trust. Um, fair enough. Because if Fennec, fair. Is, if Fennec is genuinely, because now I'm really curious, who was the client? What side is Fennec really on? Um, I, I don't know. There's there's some like interesting politic. I hope I hope in my heart of hearts that it, it pays off in some kind of way uh, to where it wasn't just like a lazy bounty hunter trying to get somebody to do their work for them. Um, well, but the, and also the uh, stuff with Omega and Crosshair. That's always a welcome delight. The power of meditation. I like mm-hmm. seeing that uh, infused in Star Wars in general. I myself love a good meditation session. Yeah. And if there's anyone who really needs it, it's Crosshair. Learning to be in the moment and trust and follow your body and your senses, I think is a great a great call. And to actually tie it back into uh, Gunji for the you know that one special episode, I thought was a great great call. But overall, yeah, this is out of, out of them out of all the episodes of Bad Batch uh, for this season, which I've, I have found to be a particularly stellar season. This would be on the lower end, and a lot does have to do with. I, I have lost a lot of interest, in particular, with <laughs> Hunter and Wrecker as characters. Yeah, more than just I like them, but I like yeah. them more in a bigger group setting. Yeah. But they constantly keep pairing them off to be on their own with each other. Yeah, and while I think the dynamic makes sense, where you got your your larger, more silly character paired up with your more stoic, badass leader. Yeah, I get the juxtaposition of putting them both together. It doesn't make for the most interest. Yeah. They just don't really have much story I, to I tell I hope this them. doesn't come off in the wrong way, but I hope that one of them, at minimum, doesn't make it to the end of the season. Sure. Um, I get what you mean. Seri- like, uh, yeah, I just... There is not enough dimensions to these characters uh, to make the batch as interesting as it should be. Um, right, right. And honestly, like, even the presence or the, the presence of the lack of tech, if that makes any sense, uh, I felt like has more oomph to it than these characters mm-hmm. that are still physically there. I'm there with you. Um, but, yeah, no, I mean, listen, I, I think for this many, like, knock-it-out-of-the-park episodes, like, I think they're entitled to an episode or two that are, you know, less than stellar and yeah uh i appreciate the setup and i'm excited for next week um what do y'all think is going to happen though i mean are do we think that fennec is working with a jedi do we think she's working with ventress do we think that like it's a trap you know like what's the where's this going um and i have to say i've like especially this season um and I feel like I guess if you've made it this far in Bad Batch, you're like committed. But I've like really, really enjoyed the conversations and the uh, the theories that have been going on in the comment section. Yeah, um, it's like it's really wonderful to see how like invested everyone is. And I think in the same way, it took a while for people to see like the magic of Rebels and the magic of Clone Wars. I feel like thank you. 
for the individuals that have seen the magic uh, that is the Bad Batch when it's when it's doing its best. Yeah. Uh, but underrated anyway. stuff. Underrated stuff. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, do me a favor. Uh, leave a like with the force. All you got to do is meditate and click that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, and uh, don't forget to leave a comment below. And, man, I see why you don't let me do this, Greg. This is harder than it should be. Hey, you always take the initiative without I, me ever suggesting you no, do. I and just, I appreciate it. I, I feel like to hear it from somebody else, you really stop and you're like, huh. Those are words, you know. <laughs> anyway, please, Greg. Re Greg begs you. Um, uh, every night he goes to bed and he reads <laughs> the list of every single subscriber by name <laughs> and thanks them before he goes to sleep. So, add yourself to that list to be on Greg's bedtime list. Well, that was smooth. See you guys. <laughs> Chase Gardner. My friend Chase, it is the spring break season, and I can only imagine what a crazy wildcat like you is doing on this spring break event. <laughs> I imagine that right now you are saving people from burning buildings. If there's anything you know about Chase Garner, is that he is one hell of a hero. He goes outside with his garden hose. That's right. When the firefighters are like, sir, please stay behind. Let us do our job. <laughs> you take your garden hose. You move the fire hose from the firefighters out of the fire hydrant. And you're like, let me just plug in my water hose. I got it off Amazon recently. I'm telling you, it'll get the job done way better than this outdated government property that you have. And then what do you know? The building ends up exploding, ends up going into kablammy because of the fact that you let your ego get ahead of you. But hey, that's what spring break's for, man. Mm -hmm. You're having a bitchin' old time. That's right, bro. Get it. Get it, Chase. Slap those buttons.